In today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to be breaking down a quick pass that you could utilize to both beat the blitz and beat max coverage defenses in Madden NFL 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now if you've never been to my YouTube channel before, I post daily tips and tricks on how to get better at Madden. We typically post four videos a day and our videos are normally live on YouTube at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. We also live stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So if you're interested in getting better at this game, what I would highly encourage you to do is both subscribe and also join our Discord. It's a free community app that allows you to connect with more um, than just me. It allows you to connect with my entire Madden community. We have some really, really good members over there and some guys that are really, really high-level Madden players. So the link to that is in the description. All right, guys. So I wanted to break down this little route combination that you can utilize out of gun two back. Now, um, the, what's really nice about gun two back, in my opinion, is that when people are running some of the meta defenses like press man coverage or things like that, they can't press the running backs. And when you have two running backs, it's really difficult for your opponent to be able to key in on which running back you're going to go to uh, most of the time. Okay, And so because of that, this is a really nice little tactic that you can use, especially against blitzing defenses. If you're facing blitzing defenses, um, if you're facing press man defenses, and it does do really well against max coverage as well. But I really like this um, specifically against man-to-man -man press or man-to-man -man, uh, blitz. Now, this is an excerpt. This formation is actually fully broken down, as well as this entire playbook is broken down in our Arizona Offensive eBook, which you can pick up in the description below. That eBook has over 125 pages of material, over 10 hours of video breakdown, and is, in my opinion, one of the best offensive and defensive guides that we've ever released. Um, to the community it has over 125 pages of material both on the offensive and defensive side of the ball and uh, Shows you everything about the air raid offense that you need to know All right, but for today's video what we're going to do is we're going to show you um, This little route combination it comes to us from the split slot now the split slot in the Arizona Cardinals playbook specifically is really really effective um, both for beating the blitz and also for you know just having some nice little run plays and so what I like to do out of this formation here and the play we're going to be going over is the play um, uh, mesh post wheel okay mesh post wheel you see that you get these really nice little wheel routes to the backs out of the out of the backfield and we're just going to come out in a standard mid blitz and we're just going to press coverage now what you'll notice about this little play here is that both the running backs are on little wheel routes and then you have little crossing routes here to your interior receivers. Now, what I like to do with this play is actually just simply re-drag them or what you can do is if you re-drag Devontae Adams and leave Sterling Shep or leave Shepard on his route, it's going to help a little bit against zone coverage if you are to face that. But what you'll notice here against man coverage is you're going to get a man switch on the right side because of the inside route coming in with an outside route. Another thing that you'll get a lot, especially if you face mid blitz any, is they're gonna bring their user over the A-gap. They're gonna do something like that. Now most of the time they're gonna be using that backer. And so what that means is, if you get this man switch, some they're gonna make a mistake most of the time, but as you can see here, you get a natural pick, a natural rub, and you're able to get the ball out to the running back quick. Now, another thing that you could do with this play is you could also re rewheel both running backs. This is going to get them to go a little bit wider out there. And so you'll see here, see how he gets a little bit wider and does get a better snap throw angle. By, by wheeling both running backs, you have two very good flat threats on both sides. So the defense is going to have to play, um, have to play some type of flat coverage. So what you might see is something like this, buck zone blitz. And here is where I'm going to have a couple of uh, flat zones. If I lowball this little wheel route, you see that it gets inside the zone coverage. The only real way to stop this is to man up one of their defensive ends or one of their um, corners onto the running backs. Because you see here, I can hit them on both sides. You notice that these wheel routes are going to work from both sides of this formation. It creates a natural man switch and some natural rubs for you to be able to get out against man to man coverage. Another thing that you could do is if you had backfield master, you could put these guys on shoot flats, or if you had hot route master, you could do that as well. One other thing I want you to notice, though, really quickly here, is these little drags, especially against defenses that are going to come down 
and they're going to shade coverage over top. If they shade coverage over top and they don't press, these drags are going to beat man-to-man. -man. As you can see, they're going to cross and they're going to get open. Now, let's say that the user is obviously in the middle of the field. Now, again, understand, the user pretty much is going to have to do something like this. If they're expecting you to run this play, what they're going to do is they're going to have to man up this slot corner onto the running back, and then they're going to man themselves up onto this slot receiver. And basically what they're going to do is they're going to try to play some mind games with you about how they're going to stop this. But as you can see here, these drags, both of the drags are going to cross and they're going to come open at multiple points. So you're going to have that opportunity. Another thing that I actually really like to do, and this seems a little bit, in, a little bit weird, a little bit different, but I actually really like to double out or double zig or double flat uh, both sides. And what you'll see here is if they're in man-to-man, -man, I'm just going to check down to my post route most of the time. If they're in zone, though, what this forces the defense to do, let's say that they play um, flat zones on both sides, even if they play hard flats, you'll notice that by flatting, um, like by flatting even just one of the sides right here, right, um, what you'll notice here is this is going to do a really, really good job of beating the zone coverage because they're going to come, those wheel routes are going to come upfield underneath the zone coverage for you so a really nice little route combination here and if they were to go something like max coverage this post route on the right is uh, one of the best post routes in madden you see it gets that nice sharp cut and he's going to be able to get separation against the man-to-man -man coverage so you can kind of do whatever you want with this play like i said you could do double zigs you'll be surprised at how well double zigs work especially if they don't press you if you don't get pressed on the outside, you'll notice that these these zig routes get really really nice separation against the uh, against the 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 man-to-man um, -man defense. Another thing that you could do if you wanted to is you could run um, one of the receivers on a slant. So maybe I take Devonte Adams and put him on a slant, and you see here he's going to be able to beat that man-to-man -man coverage to the outside. There's so many things that you could do with these receivers. Um, but what I really wanted to focus in on were the wheel routes to the backs of the backfield here. These wheel routes um, will beat man. Uh, these real wheel routes will beat man, especially even if you put them on shoot flats. But it's primarily because they don't get pressed and there's a natural man switch that occurs. Now, if, if the again, understanding that the defense, if the defense does everything correct, then they won't. They won't beat man. But oftentimes when you face something like mid blitz, you're going to face these many adjustments plethora of adjustments right well you can get the ball out quick on this and be able to be able to get it especially if you know you see something like this and they start moving people they start moving um their their corners or their safeties in like this put one of those backs on a wheel route and what you'll see is this wheel route it gets out there so quick that normally you can actually pass that away from the the corner now sometimes you can't obviously but what you can also do off of this is you could go to something like shakes, and this is where you'll see the double flat routes that I'm talking about. But these double flats are going to be nice torch man coverage, get to the outside, and they're going to go. So if you have backfield master, you can certainly create this as well. Um, but these routes from mesh, I think they do a pretty good job. Um, when they get to the sideline, you can actually um, kind of lowball this. Another thing I really like about this is if you wanted to, you could instantly be in a max protect and pick up every pressure in Madden. And as you can see, you're able to go and you're able to get the ball out quick. So I think overall this formation is really, really effective. I think it's really simple to run, but it's actually very, um, I think it's just simple but very effective. And again, you can do so many things with your running backs. One of the things that you could do is you could put your running backs on little out routes like this right here. You see they're going to be on little outs. And you'll notice that these out routes will do really nice against man-to-man -man coverage. If they run man-to-man -man coverage, this will be nice against that. But primarily, these wheels are really, really good against, you know, snap, throw against zone. You see you get that nice rat catch animation upfield, and you're able to get yardage if they don't hard flat. This forces the defense to hard flat, right? Let's say they're playing, let's say that they're playing some kind of cover two. You're going to be able to get this ball out quick, and you're going to be able to roll. So, uh, anyways, guys, there's more on this formation in my Arizona Cardinals offensive guide that you can pick up in the description. The biggest thing that I and I hadn't gotten into it too much is how powerful that post route is on the on the right side as well. Um, it has to be user guarded. There's no defense in the game that's going to be able to get it unless obviously, you know, you get instantly. But what's also really nice about it, let's say they press coverage you. 
let's say that they run some type of press on you right here they're gonna prep get up in your grill press blitz you you see you almost get an instant win animation you can oftentimes get the ball out um, against the press against the press blitz um, that they might run and oftentimes people will you know obviously shade coverage over top against this if you slide give yourself a little bit of space you see he's going to beat man to man to the inside so anyways guys you can pick up the full ebook in the description below our next video is going to be live at four o'clock p.m eastern time and if you have any questions or need any additional madden help be able, sure to shoot me a text my number is 812-216-3644 we'll see you guys on our next upload